I'm removing the door panel on my 2012 F-150. First thing you need to do, you need to use a tool similar to this to get behind the little plate. This plate right here that sits up in here. Just get behind the bottom corner of it over here. It's a tool. It's right down in there. And you can basically pull it towards you and pop it off. And you can get to that bolt right there. And there's another little one down inside here. And I used this one right here and very gently came in here and popped it out. It's pretty pretty straightforward. That's this little one right here. I'm kind of doing this with one hand, so so no no donkey marks, no nothing on it. So it came out pretty easy. Okay, and then basically. You end up in a situation like this. I mean, after you pry the switch plate out, you're gonna pry the switch plate out right here. Well, that's pretty straightforward. It just pops up and disconnect everything, right? And then you all have your connection for your uh, your mirror right here. Take that off. And you got your handle. That's pretty straightforward. There's one behind it. But I'm taking it off because ever since I bought this thing, it always made a squeaky rattle sound as I'm driving down the road. You can see that right there. That's paint missing. So, maybe not. It's like it's greasy. Someone greased it or something. But anyways, that's what's rubbing right there. So maybe they greased it or something. It always made noise. Well, it still does. I have a feeling it's from under here, plastic or something. I'll kind of diagnose and take a look at it. Maybe it's from this little reinforcement piece right here. Something else. I'll take a look at it anyway. Up in here. So I'll have to figure that out. But I actually took it apart for two reasons. That was the first reason. The second reason is... I live in the rust belt. I'm going to take this material right here, which I've used since I purchased the truck new, and I'm going to go through the whole bottom of my door, inside the door along the hem, down inside there. I'm going to kind of squirt it all through there. I got a air compressor, so I'm going to do it on a power one, and I'm going to fill this whole cavity up inside here until it kind of comes out the drain holes. This stuff does not dry. Okay? Yeah, look it up online. This shit is awesome. I've been doing it on this truck since I bought it, like I said. And I've been through, this will be my fifth winter. And no rust anywhere. Nothing. So, I mean, I've been doing it on the frame, on everything. I never painted any of that stuff. Right from a factory like that. We got a couple, a little bit around these bolts and stuff, but that's nothing, you know? Probably from my, when I took it off to put the new shocks on, so. But nothing. So, I haven't done there. I usually just do this seam right here. And I kind of smear it in there, but this time I'm going to pull it in to get down inside here. I figure it's uh, you know four years old, and I will get this cavity all filled up inside here. Get a bunch of it sprayed down in there. Let it run down the sheet metal, you know, all through the sheet metal down through there, and then uh, continue going for uh, how long and see if it lasts. So my last one lasted 10 years with no rust on it. So we'll see.